Welcome to another edition of Big 12 Picks. I'm Jared Johnson, and my uh, season record now is against the spread. Picking Big 12 games against the spread has uh, moved to 17 and 14. I split the difference with two games last week, lost by a half a point. I actually took the Red Raiders giving a point and a half. The line had, had changed by the time uh, kickoff occurred, but to where Baylor was actually favored. But that's the line I agreed to, was Texas Tech giving one and a half. Of course, they won by one point. So uh, I lost that one. I won the West Virginia TCU matchup, or I was right uh, in, in taking West Virginia there. But uh, we have three games this week, and uh, obviously highlighted by the Bedlam series, Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. I'll get to that here in a minute. But let's start off with the first game on Saturday. It's Texas giving... 29 and a half points at Kansas. Now I know, you know, almost 30 points. That's a lot of points, but not uh, when we're talking about Kansas. Now Kansas is actually, I think they beat Texas, uh, you know, within the last five years or so, um, and have played the Longhorns close some. But I just don't see it this year. I think the Longhorns roll over the Jayhawks. Uh, I don't think it's close uh, in terms of talent, focus at this point of the season, all that. I think Texas. Uh, names the score against Kansas. All right, next game is Kansas State, and they're getting 11 points at Iowa State. And this one, to me, is a really tough game. Even of the three, including uh, Oklahoma and Oklahoma State, this game I really I spent some time on. I find sometimes when you start second-guessing yourself, it can be counterproductive. Uh, you know, Kansas State, right now, like, they're, like the biggest question is if they'll even have enough guys in order to play which that's a dangerous proposition. I don't know exactly Iowa State's situation, but I, I will tell you this. Kansas State has owned this matchup. Um, they've won uh, several, of the last, uh, several of the last matchups. Uh, but this game is always close. Now, I think Iowa State's going to win. I think the Cyclones win. I think they might win by 10 points, but 11 points, 11 points given up to the Wildcats is a lot, even given... The quarterback situation, the COVID situation, I'm just not comfortable giving up a le- or uh, yeah, uh, giving up 11 points and picking Iowa State to win by two touchdowns or more. So I'm going to go with Kansas State to cover. I think Iowa State wins, but I have the Wildcats covering, uh, and that's assuming they even play the game right. As because right now, like I said, the Wildcats are dangerously close. It's been widely reported uh, to not being able to play. So we'll see how the the tests go. All right, finally, Oklahoma State is receiving seven points. They're playing at Oklahoma. Honestly, I don't know who's going to win this game. Um, there are some interesting matchups, as usual. It's called Bedlam for a reason. I know OU obviously has owned this series historically, um, but Oklahoma State have a really good defense. Um, the quarterback situation is going to be interesting because you have two really talented quarterbacks who uh, are younger and have shown that at times they could be turnover prone. So, I'm kind of on the fence here, so to me that seven points seems like an awful lot. I'm going with the underdog here. I think Oklahoma State covers, and I don't even know who I think is going to win. Uh, coin toss. Uh, it's, I'm looking forward to that matchup. Texas Tech is off this week. I'm certainly going to be tuning in to watch that game, which is scheduled to kick off at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. So we'll see how uh, the Big 12 plays out this week. I'm looking forward to it. With that, I want to thank you for watching, and until next time.